Bobcat Goldwaith starred in a Pointer Sisters video? Hi, this is Steve. You're watching SFO. Happy New Year. It was a gritty end to 2022, not only with the deaths and the snowstorms and the continued back and forth between the Ukraines and the Russians arguing over scores of people killed. Um, and then you had Pele and Barbara Walters. Hopefully not overlooked in all of this was the death of Anita Pointer on New Year's Eve, which leaves Ruth as the only surviving Pointer sister. Vivo, perhaps coincidentally, it's hard to know because I don't think an actual live human works for Vivo. It's just an, it's just an app. Um, however, there was a curious timing behind running in Pointer Sisters playlist on January 2nd for a half hour in the midst of their usual um, 80s playlist. I grew up with the Pointers in the 80s. Uh, I, I associate them with 80s music. It was years until I learned that they and Shaka Khan predated MTV. So Jump, I'm So Excited, Automatic, even the Neutron Dance from Beverly Hills Cop, which Vivo included in their playlist, uh, I mean, they weren't as ubiquitous as Michael Jackson and Madonna on MTV, but, I mean, they were right there. Uh, the video for Twist My Arm was absolutely new to me on Monday night, uh, long after it should have been. But it was notable to me because it guest stars oddball comedian Bobcat Goldwaith, the then newly minted star of the Police Academy movie series. There is a potentially dangerous amount of time ready to be wasted while exploring this. After my initial shock, um, I wanted to demand a cast list for each and every Pointer Sisters video, knowing already that Bronson Pinchot, uh, AKA Balky Bartokamus, uh, he cameos in the Neutron Dance video. Although Pinchot you know, makes sense to be in that video because he stars in Beverly Hills Cop with Eddie Murphy. Um, but for having never met the guy, the intermittent intersection of Bobcat in my life is beginning to freak me out. The Pointer Sisters video is admittedly the least impressive of these three instances. Uh, the second occurred actually last year at Thalia Hall in Chicago. My wife and I went to see comedian Kyle Kinane and unbilled Bobcat came out as the direct warm-up to Kinane. Uh, he killed. I mean... There were maybe a disproportionate amount of jokes about how much weight he's gained since he relocated to Chicago from Los Angeles. Uh, it's a tale familiar to any Chicago area 19-year-old who came back from freshman year at the University of Wisconsin-Madison uh, with the physique and the skin pallor of a cheese curd. The first time Bobcat crashed an evening in the life of young Esfo was the Aragon Ballroom in October 1993, unbilled yet again, taking the stage right after Mudhoney and as direct support for Nirvana. Years later, I'd read that Bobcat had struck the proverbial unlikely friendship with Kurt Cobain, but if ever there was a marriage doomed to fail, it was Bobcat's rabid phlegmy ah! and, and delivery and the Aragon's, say it with me now, notoriously muddy acoustics. Anyway, in the spirit of the new year, this episode will be the equivalent of habitually writing 2022 instead of 2023. In fact, I'd like to start an SFO drinking game. It will require you to walk around with a flask. But each time you say to a clerk or a secretary, I'm still not used to writing 2023, take a drink. Just two songs this time, uh, which includes Florida D, Pulling a Bobcat by totally dominating Sidewinder by Gorgon City. But first, Andre Guillaume and the internationally unmoored Dungeon. I'm a champion. Welcome to the dungeon. London. This is what London. Speaking of what the Midwest can do to a body. I try to keep in check by snacking on dried fruit, uh, fat-free, high in fiber, no added sugar. It's also from nowhere and everywhere at the same time. 
This bag of Mariani Premium Mixed Fruit, for example, exposed its parent company when I unintentionally stared at it while trying to remember something else. I was just kind of staring off into space. And below the date stamp, it says, Product of USA and or Argentina and or Chile and or China and or South Africa and Turkey. Why bother? It's from Earth, most likely. Andre Guillaume keeps dungeon within a respectable 5,000 mile radius of its source. Guillaume is from Inland Empire, which is about as useful as saying someone's from California or the Western United States or Earth. He helpfully does tell us that this ain't London. Uh, the track is co-produced with Andy, sorry, Anthony Kilhoffer. Um, dungeon mixes British house with a garage beat in the clipped dance hall via grime flow. Check it out. A panicked Guillaume is desperately plumbing his mind's depth. He's trying to convince himself that art not money is what's important, though both, as well as confidence, might be in short supply. Uh, the song gathers momentum with a thumping beat, but then pauses, almost like a dancer who's suddenly forgotten the next step. Uh, within barely two minutes, the tone of the song shifts then to evoke Kanye West in the My Beautiful Dark Fantasy era, and then culminates in a rather surprising but heroic guitar solo. Uh, the video for Dungeon is available at YouTube. Um, Guillaume's Instagram tag is below. The song is Guillaume's first release. Uh, if you have pen and paper, you might want to grab them. His first release on Drink Some Water, uh, the new label founded in 2022 when Ghostly International and Secretly Group combined to create the All Flowers Group. Um, Guillaume's Energy EP was actually released earlier in 2022 via Secretly Canadian, so this is all kind of wrapped up in a big new... Fantastic cocoon. Anyway, links are below. Chevy Chase, you have company. Extensive contamination in the grain fields of southern Argentina. The state ever... The microphone's cutting out on us. I'm awfully sorry. However, if the... Unstate, so I must go. Yes, Spies Like Us, one of the many films that Oscar looks back on with regrets. Ah. Not only did it introduce Soul Finger by the Barcase to a new generation, it was actually later played at my wedding reception, uh, but it was also a clinic for the talents and wiles of Chevy Chase, an ego that drove Hollywood to ostracize him for decades. Not to equate Sidewinder and Gorgon City with run-of-the-mill 80s comedies, uh, the track is a sturdy sort of mid-set banger for the dance floor or wherever you like to move your thing. It, the song ducks and weaves on its own, with or without Flirted D. But like Channing Tatum quoting Vince Lombardi in your yearbook or convincing Tom Petty to slum it, Florida's feature on Sidewinder turn something functional into art. Check it out. Clarita's rapid flow is equal parts Yellow Man, Wiley, or P-Money. Uh, as it is Michael Winslow from the Police Academy movies, it's another Bobcat reference, or Chevy's broken microphone routine from Spies Like Us. It's impossible to tell whether Gorgon City has edited and snipped his verses. It's frightening that they probably didn't. His delivery means everything to the song. Ultimately, it's you know really just a classic disco track. Gorgon keep people moving while Flirta boasts about his skills that kill up on the microphone. Uh, Florida is from Northwest London and has been a constant feature of the grime scene for at least 15 years. He's somewhat of a recluse when it comes to recording 
or at least releasing music that he's recorded. Uh, Sidewinder is the most heard track in his Spotify discography. Gorgon City is a London-based producer duo that has been peppering the UK charts for the better part of a decade. Uh, they will perform at the three South American Lollapaloozas in March and then play Red Rocks in Colorado in April. Their third album, Olympia, was released by Astral Works last June. Links are below. Hey, thanks for stopping by. If you still need a New Year's resolution, how about liking and subscribing videos from YouTubers? Not that I'm bitter. My trial size playlist is starting to see a trickle of new music, so I expect to start posting reviews on Instagram again soon. I am off of Twitter. Uh, and like Steve Albini trying to sort out Mastodon, why do I compare myself to Steve Albini? You have the same name! Steve! You can also see my bylines at Beats Per Minute and Line of Best Fit. Thanks. I don't know. These apricots might be from Uzbekistan. They uh, have hints of the upper soil deposits found in the southern part of the country.